were talking about how barren it is today out in the bush and I said wouldn't it be nice if we could see some ground hornbills they normally save us out here and as we've come around the corner there they are there are five of them moving through the long grass how cool is that I cannot believe it we were just speaking about them and I've said that and you know a number of times the hornbills have come through and they've saved me either sitting up in a tree but I'll take them walking through the long grass and just so you all know this is Sebastian's favorite bird to film he specifically said he loves to get close-up shots of them because they've got the most luscious eyelashes and they do too they've got beautiful eyes let's see if we can perhaps move a little bit closer but we all know what hornbills are like they can be a little bit on the shy side so we'll just move it probably 20 or 30 meters forward and then we might have to stop again otherwise we could risk them flying off and I don't want to do that they are quite active this morning they're sort of bouncing about but that's interesting we haven't seen five together for a very long time so I wonder if it is a new family perhaps moving in from the Kruger or just popping in for a little visit you never quite know but the the ones that we've seen here have normally only been a, a group of four I didn't see any particular small ones so I don't know if it is maybe it's a juvenile maybe there's a juvenile uh, in in this family group but also I think I've got no just more hyena tracks just also going to keep an eye out here there's quite a few buffalo footprints which is good for us oh there they go they've actually just flown and landed up into a tree now I could hear Andrew and I was try I've been trying to get hold of Andrew all morning there someone's talk trying to talk to him look how beautiful I don't know what he was talking about though if it was lions or what he was saying but I would like to have a chat to him oh hang on I think there's a leopard around here Let's have a look at the hornbills. I'm going to chat to Andrew now. Andrew, Andrew for Taylor. I'm just trying to get hold of Andrew. I do apologize. Just because we're right here, and it sounds like he's got a male leopard just north of Buff Pan, which is literally 200 meters from us. So I'm going to try and, once we've had a look at these hornbills, keep up with him. Look at that hornbill at the back. It's got a grasshopper in its mouth, a big one too which is quite nice let's see if it's going to throw his head back while he's perched in a tree typically they don't feed when they're up in trees like that they're normally foraging down on the ground and and will toss it back we know that the yellow-billed hornbills can feed on the ground and while they're perched but this will be something new and interesting for me to watch Andrew Andrew for Taylor Andrew I'm just here with uh, ground hornbills I'm um, just east of Buff Pan please may I come and join you I know I've been trying to get a hold of you as well, just bad comms. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll come into that area now. So I'm just having a chat to Andrew as we watch these hornbills, of course. I've finally been able to get hold of him for the first time this morning. It sounds like he did have a male leopard very quickly at, at Buff Pan, but as you know with Buff Pan, it's right on the boundary. So he said that this leopard has gone north off of their traverse, but we'll go through. And if it is quarantine, he might come weaving back onto the road as he do, does a, a territorial patrol. So we'll go and have a look. But for the moment, Andrew can't see anything, so I don't think we need to just race off there just yet we'll take a moment to enjoy this beautiful hornbill sighting how cool is this though one two three four they all look like adults there are none that look like juveniles the fifth one is flown off to the other side <laughs> now a pack of animals you've said that we seem to see a lot of these hornbills perhaps they're not as endangered anymore Pack, a pack of animals I wish that that was the case we have just been exceptionally lucky this morning to have seen two different family groups of hornbills this is not an everyday occurrence this is not even a monthly occurrence it um, it happens few and far between to to see sightings like this so really do count yourself exceptionally lucky especially that they are so relaxed and not performing for us because normally what we do see when we find the hornbills is them darting off into the long grass or into a thicket and out of sight so we don't often get to spend too much time with them either and when we can we will indeed spend as much time as we can <clears throat> so that's very exciting to see this and a new, new family group 
Um, we were seeing, at one point, we were seeing a family five. One of them had a juvenile, if I'm not mistaken. But unfortunately, that chick sort of just uh, disappeared at, at one point. And we didn't see it again. So it's nice to see. Uh, and this is sort of the typical size that you have of a family group. I don't think I've ever seen more than five hornbills together before. And, and that's because it's, of course, one dominant breeding pair and the others will actually help raise that one chick. It takes him almost seven years to reach adulthood, and for those seven years, they'll walk around begging constantly, making a uh, sort of low-pitched chirping noise, uh, constantly reminding the adults that I'm always hungry and I need to be fed 24-7. But fantastic, and with the beautiful light on them this morning too. Let's try our luck. Let me see if I can roll. Can we roll? Go, go, check it. Come on, Sebastian. One, two, three. <laughs> That's not way. We'll get a little bit. Okay, we go. We got, we're just going to get a bit of momentum now. We're going to go stealth mode in. Now, Rakesh, and we roll on into the sighting. You've asked if we only find these birds in Africa. Yes, we do. I haven't seen... Oh, there they go. I haven't seen too many hornbills anywhere else. Uh, well, not these big southern ground hornbills, of course. Look how beautiful they are when they fly. They've got beautiful wings. Remember, we... I think the feather that I had yesterday was from a southern ground hornbill. I'm going to keep going because they, they're just sort of moving. So if we keep like that, I'm going to just go forward again because now they're quite far away. Uh, so, so southern ground hornbills we only see in Africa. However, when you start going to different parts of the world, you might see birds that look similar. And they could be very distant cousins, of course. But they won't be the exact same species or from maybe even probably the same genus. Uh, but maybe different subspecies, of course. Um, but we see lots of different birds that are quite similar. But these ones are special. I suppose you could maybe say, but now, now I'm not giving these birds enough credit. So I feel like if I'm saying this, I'm about to downgrade the hornbill. But the closest bird that I can think that looks like a southern ground hornbill is a turkey. And, well, I don't really want to look at the hornbills like they're turkeys because those are amazing, gracious things. There's a couple of them. They've just moved off. They're going, just flying off into the distance. There they go. 